everyone, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming what I got for Christmas. I've never done this video before. I did a what I got for my birthday last year, but never a Christmas video. I love watching these and I've kind of always wanted to film one. So that's what I'm doing today. The obvious preface goes that I am not trying to brag at all. I feel very lucky and spoiled and grateful. It's just for fun. I'm just kind of showing different gifts that I got. And between like my family, my boyfriend's family, my boyfriend. I feel like there's a good mix and there's a lot of stuff. And so also, if you got me something for Christmas, even if it was like a small thing to a bigger thing, I'm so thankful and appreciative of all of it. I might not be showing every single last little bit in this video just cause I don't want it to go on forever. So there were a few like stocking stuffers, gift cards, things like that that I don't think I put in this massive pile to my right but I'm showing most everything. I'm actually gonna start it off with, I guess you can't really see my sweatshirt, so I could almost get away with hiding it, but you know, his eyes are gonna make an appearance the more that I move and talk. So let's start it off with what Travis's sister Stacy got me. <laughs> she decided to get everybody custom-made sweatshirts this year, and Mine is a picture of Travis on it. Plus she put some like glittery puff paint on top. I think this is like so hilarious. I told her, I was like, I'm gonna wear it in my video. I'm gonna wear it in public. Travis uh, hopefully will be making a special cameo soon. I think he's in the shower, but he also has one with yours truly on it. So that's hilarious. I really thought that was a fun custom thing. Stacy also got me this cute little cozy that says mermaid on it and she got Travis one that says captain and then she got me a really nice Starbucks mug. I think this could be used for hot or cold drinks like the material it's made out of and it has a straw which is perfect. It'll keep cold drinks cold and hot drinks hot. You know how that works. I, mean, I think. I think that's how this works. So thank you so much Stace. We will stick with that sibling train right now just because. And Travis's brother, I almost said sister, sorry Andrew. Travis's brother Andrew and sister-in-law Michelle, they got us a really cool like gift basket type thing. So they just got married in September and then they went on their honeymoon to Greece and Italy and Portugal, which is amazing. So I didn't pull every single piece out of the basket, but I just wanted to show you they got us some really cool goodies from those countries. So this is this like lemon liqueur stuff that apparently they drink in Greece. Like how cool is that? And that packaging is awesome. They also got us olive oil from Greece, which I'm pretty sure Greece is like the land of olive oil. So I'm excited to cook with that. This is sun-dried tomato paste. So yet again, something that'll be fun to cook with. And then no shock here, but the thing I'm most excited for is this bottle of vino from Italy. It's Chianti, Chianti. I should definitely know how to say that before like proclaiming myself to be some wine drinker. But yeah, it's a 2014 bottle of wine from Italy and like, I've never even been out of the United States of America, not to Mexico, not to Canada. So I definitely think that something from a foreign country such as Italy is awesome. So thank you so much. Next on the Regan family sibling train, we have Eric and Allison. So Travis's brother is Eric, his wife is Allison. They got me this awesome pair of Nikes. Can you see those? So these are the, what style is this? The Lunar Lawn, am I saying that right? And it's kind of a cool blush pink with like a freaking metallic silver swoosh. I don't know if the lights are drowning that out. They are running shoes, um, but they could also be good for just like training. They're really comfortable, they're really cute. I love them so much. And then the Regans do like a Secret Santa with all of their family and Eric got me for his Secret Santa. So he got me these really cute, just like Nike leggings, which will get a lot of use because I live in leggings. I'm wearing a pair right now. Travis's grandparents very sweetly got me this soft cozy PJ set that comes with socks because they know that I'm always cold as well as these adorable mittens <laughs> again always cold Travis's other grandma on his dad's side got me an Amazon Echo Dot we actually have one of these already in our kitchen but I love it and I think that it would be so fun we have a downstairs so I could put this downstairs in the man cave I could put this in our bedroom the options are really endless and I really really like it so thank you more cute stuff Travis's aunt and uncle and cousins got me this really cute blue scarf. Then on my side of the family, my cousin um, and his girlfriend got me this really cool like travel toiletry type of bag and it's like nylon and then they got me a Nordstrom gift card as well which was very sweet. My aunt got me these fluffy socks. You can see the warm slash cold 
trying to be warm theme is a thing. My best friend Bethany got me this adorable little Starbucks uh, ornament and it says California on it. She's so cute because she knows I don't live there anymore so I can't exactly pick this up at my local Starbucks. So thanks Beth. Yesterday we went to lunch with uh, one of Travis's co-workers Jason and he gave us a nice bottle of Jim Beam apple. I'm excited to try this. It's bourbon whiskey and it's apple flavored and I'm definitely going to put this in some apple cider and it'll be great. He also got us some like chocolates and a stocking. Again, I'm trying not to just mention everything because there were a lot of little bits along the way that I appreciated as well, but I talk a lot as it is, so. Okay, so another friend gift that I got. This was very exciting. This is from my best friend, David. Ugh, I'm so excited for this. So this is a fragrance set from one of my, probably my favorite fragrance brand of all, and that is Killian. And this is their 10 year anniversary Discover set. So what it is, is it's a box. It comes with, this is the first row, and then there's a second row behind it, and there are 10 vials of like their best selling fragrance. This stuff is the most exquisite fragrance in the world. One of my like, top must-have signature scents is from this line and it's called Back to Black. I've talked about it a lot. It is in this gift set as well as so many other good ones. If you're familiar with Killian, there's Love, Straight to Heaven, Liaisons Dangerous, probably saying that really wrong, Back to Black, Bamboo Harmony, Good Girl Gone Bad, Intoxicated, Vodka on the Rocks, Moonlight in Heaven, and Black Phantom. Each one of these is... 0.25 fluid ounce so the value for this whole kit is super amazing and I actually have a really gorgeous little like black vial type thing that you can put these in and it's from Killian and I'm just so excited for this me and David our thing is like fragrance like we are both just obsessed with scent and fragrance we could go fragrance shopping for hours on end we both love Killian and this was like the sweetest most thoughtful gift ever Thank you, David. Ugh, I think I'm gonna do a full video on this actually, like talking about all the scents, so stay tuned for that. And something super cute my aunt got me is this mug with my nephew's picture on it. It says Christmas 2017. Can't go wrong with a personalized mug. In fact, I'll use that to segue into my next set of gifts. My brother and sister-in-law got me this personalized mug, which says Aunt Katie and Gary. So it's like pictures of me and my nephew, so cute. The next thing they got me is very exciting, but I feel like such a jerk because it is this Kiehl's Disney skincare set that has calendula. It's mostly like their calendula products, the face wash, the toner, the mask, and then an ultra facial lotion. I talked about this on a recent haul video. I don't even know what video it was. Oh, I think it was a, in a Vlogmas vlog. I bought this for myself and that was only because I really genuinely thought this was going to sell out and I wanted it so badly that I just snagged it up. So I feel really sad because my mom and my sister-in-law got me this. So thank you both so, so much. I, it's from Nordstrom, so it has the sticker, so I can either return it. I mean, I kind of want to get a full size of the toner that comes in this, but I'm very appreciative anyway. I just feel guilty that I bought myself the gift, but this was awesome. Two more exciting products that my brother and sister-in-law got me was this guy. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Universal lip luminizer. So I've wanted to try some stuff from Fenty Beauty, and this is just like their lip gloss. I've heard really good things about it. The color is beautiful. It actually doesn't have much of a smell, a little bit fruity, um, but I've had multiple people like use this product and say that it's really, really great. So I can't wait to try this out. And next, you know, one of the true ways to my heart, which is perfume. They got me the Trish McAvoy Blackberry and Vanilla Musk Eau de Parfum. And this guy smells just like, if you've ever smelled the Trish McAvoy Wild Blueberry Vanilla Candle, which I love, this is like the perfume that smells the same, even though it's called a different name. So it looks like this, it is 1.7 fluid ounces. And again, it is a parfum, so it's a little bit stronger. It's a very sweet, fruity smell, but it does have a sophisticated sexiness to it with that musk. I really love it. And Travis's sister-in-law, Allison, has it, so now we're like twins. Now some fun stuff that Travis's parents got me. First of all, I really need a pop socket. So I don't even know where my phone is right now, but I recently got the iPhone 8 Plus. I've never had the Plus before, so it's really big, and I really need a pop socket. I've been on the hunt for one, but I've been really picky, so I don't have one yet. And then, Travis's parents got me this custom pop socket. Can you see that? 
I think the lights are washing it out a bit, but basically it's a photo of me and Travis. That's my Facebook profile picture, so clearly I like that photo. I think that's so cute. So they got everyone custom pop sockets, and I can't wait to put it on my phone. Another fun thing that they got me is this guy. It is a Bucosa makeup brush cleaner. So I haven't heard of that specific brand or whatever, but I guess it's just this little pot that you put your brushes into and it swirls them around and cleans them. Cleaning my makeup brushes is definitely one of my least favorite chores. I can't stand it. I actually have some that need to be cleaned right now, but it is important to do that. So I am excited to test this out. Next up, I had actually asked for this. This was a scarf that I saw at Nordstrom that I thought was so cute. On one side, it's this really gorgeous like rose print. And then on the other side, it's this plaid print. And it's kind of like a, a triangle shape. So you can easily just do like a little draperoo. It's obviously gonna look a little funky with what I'm wearing right now, but I just thought that was adorable. So she got me that and I'm so excited. And then she picked this one, I say she, it was Mike and Robin, but I think Robin specifically picked these out, Travis's mom. This is a Michael Kors scarf and it's this gorgeous, it's almost like a corally red, like it is red, but it's almost not like a true red, more of like a springy red. And then it has like some white on it. It's very lightweight. So this one is more of like a spring scarf versus like a, you know, winter really warm scarf, but I love it. And yeah, I've become more of a scarf girl since living in Oregon. Speaking of living in Oregon, they also got me these awesome shoes. So these are by the brand Trotters, which I haven't necessarily heard of, but that doesn't matter. I'm just, I don't know if you've heard of it. So I said the name. These are lined with this like really, really soft material, so warm and cozy. And they have these awesome bottoms that are gonna actually you know, have some traction on them. It rains a lot here and it snowed actually on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day when I was gone, I was in Arizona, but it did snow here. And I'm just gonna segue really quickly. Sadly, my poor Travis slipped on some ice out front of our house while he was trying to go help our old lady neighbor who also slipped and fell. And he herniated three discs in his neck and he's in a neck brace and he's gonna need surgery. So, take that in, send him well wishes and thoughts if you could. But the, the point being, you know, these are good shoes to have in weather like this. It doesn't necessarily snow here that much, but it can, and it's just good to have some weatherproof boots. These are also really nice. Like I can wear these to work. You know, I wear like rain boots, but those aren't exactly professional. And these are just like a little bit more of an elevated look and a nicer pair of shoes that are also great for the weather. So I'm really excited about these. And then no shock here, but I also got some makeup that I'm very excited about. So this is a MAC paint pot in the shade Painterly. You know, these have been around forever and I've tested out different colors, but I've never used Painterly or Soft Ochre, which are the two that everybody talks about on YouTube. And I've just really wanted to try them. I'm almost out of my Urban Decay, I can't open this, primer potion. And I thought to myself, I wanna try out one of these MAC paint pots next time around as an eyeshadow primer. And yeah, I got it. I got Painterly, I'm really excited to use that. Also, I got a Bare Minerals Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Swag. I tried this as a 100 point perk at, I almost said Starbucks, at Sephora one time. And it's a really, really pretty, like kind of soft pinky mauve color and it smells really good. It is dry, it's like a matte liquid lip, but it's not too dry. So I actually like it, almost has a moussey finish on your lips. So I really love this and I had been wanting it in full size. So Mike and Robin got me this. And then in true fashion, she didn't just give me one, she got me two. I just think that's so funny because I don't know. I've known Robin to be somebody who like stocks up on stuff, which I can definitely appreciate. So I love that she got me too. Like here's one and then when you run out, here's another. So thank you so much. And it smells like cookies and cream, which is an added bonus. Okay, thank you guys for bearing with me. I'm sure this video is long. We're gonna try to keep going quickly. Next up is some stuff from my mom and stepdad. So this was cute. This came in my stocking. That was totally blurred out. You couldn't even see. But it's basically a little pyramid to stack your rings on. I completely destroyed the box. Whoops, oh well. So it's just this little marble pyramid. And then you can stack your rings on them. Like if you're washing your hands, like doing the dishes or cooking. I like to take my rings off when I'm cooking because if you're touching raw meat, that's disgusting. So that was cute. Thanks, mom. Another really fun thing that she got me is this sweatshirt. Bear Down, Arizona. It's a vibrant red 
sweatshirt and you can't have enough of those so I love it also along the lines of Arizona it's not the University of Arizona but just the state in general she got me this really cute glass can you see that so it just says home and it's in the shape of Arizona ever since moving away from Arizona I've become extra nostalgic about it and so things like this just make me happy like when I lived in California and now of course Oregon but I thought this was so cute plus I kind of have this vision in my head that I'm aspiring to be now hear me out. I'm aspiring to be <laughs> like, I want to feel like I'm the great Gatsby and I want to be able to drink whiskey in a glass like this with just ice. I don't know if I'll ever be that cool or ever get to that level, but having a cool glass like this, I feel like is a good step in the right direction. Don't blame me, love me crazy if it doesn't you into <laughs> Wait. Hi, Katie. Oh, hi, you just showed up at my house one day. Nice to meet you. Let's date. Duck face. Excuse me, you have to play along with the commentary. Oh, I just told them about your injury. Mm. Do you have anything to say for yourself? No. How are you feeling? No, I'm tired. Did you take any, any pain pills today yet? No. You're a trooper. Can I have my chair back, dear? No. Okay, I'm gonna film the rest of the video sitting on your lap then. Oh. <laughs> I can't film it like this, babe. Okay. Yeah. In my cameo. Thanks for dropping in. Okay. My mom also got me this book, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kessie, I think is how you say his name. This is like a classic novel. Now, I have seen the movie, which is also like a really famous movie, with Jack Nicholson, but I've never read the book. Oh, apparently this author is from Oregon. He went to University of Oregon. Cool. Okay, so this book was written in 1962. I just kind of have always had the interest in reading it and that's kind of one of my New Year's resolutions to read more. I'm actually going to post a separate New Year's resolutions video so you can hear about that. But yeah, I'm excited to read this. And I was very excited for this. Uh, again, the, the lights are washing it out, but this is one of my favorite boxes to ever see. It is Jo Malone, and my mom got me a candle, also one of my favorite things ever. And this is in the Sweet Almond and Macaroon scent. I think it's part of their like Just Like Sunday collection or their Lazy Sunday, something like that. And this one definitely smells just like it says, Sweet Almond and Macaroon. It's sweet, it's almondy. I think it'll burn well in like the kitchen or the dining room. I'm really excited for that. And last, I'm gonna power through all of the gifts that sweet Travis gave me so that this video doesn't last 900 years. First, in my stocking, he got me this lavender and chamomile pillow spray. Now, he knows that I have insomnia slash, I don't know, I'm just difficult <laughs> to go to bed at night. And so he was like, here, I thought that would help you. And it smells really nice. And it's a nice big size glass bottle. I'm excited for that. Also in my stocking, my boy knows that I love my wine. So this is a wine aerator thing. We have a really, really cool aerator that we got at uh, like this vineyard or winery in Southern Oregon or like an hour from here. I don't actually know what I'm talking about, but somewhere cool that we went before his brother's wedding this year, but it's shaped like a dinosaur and it's really cool. But then he said to me, well, what if we have more than one bottle of wine open or we have friends around? And so he thought he would just get another one so that we could have them on multiple bottles, which was very sweet and clever and thoughtful. Also in my stocking, he got me this pack of a hundred gold paper straws. And I'm really excited for these because I always drink stuff out of a straw. Like I drink my water at home out of a straw. I'm just excessive. I don't know. It's just a habit that I'm in. But I also just love the idea of paper straws. They're so like pretty looking and fun and I think they can really make a drink feel festive even if it's just water or iced tea or something. Obviously a fun little cocktail is even better with like a fun straw. You can take some cool Instagrams with that. I don't know why I'm opening it because I'm not going to open them. But yeah they're just like metallic gold straws. Another wine related item that he got me is this from Brookstone. It's called a wine preserver and you keep the wine fresher for longer. I don't know exactly how it works, but it's something where it like pumps, what does it say? Pumps the air out of the bottle and reseals the bottle. 
so that you can like not finish the bottle of wine but then preserve it as if it's never been opened so I thought that was pretty cool these next two items I'm actually so excited for because I had this semi recent epiphany that we have a DVD shelf down in the man cave and there's just nothing particularly attractive about it it's just a bunch of DVDs on a shelf and I was like well how could we style that because I'm little miss home decor these days I got this idea from what's her YouTube name velvet ghost Gabby. I'll link her channel down below. She's an English YouTuber that I watch. But she had this idea to buy pop figures of characters of movies that she has and then to kind of put them on her DVD shelf to help decorate it and I thought that was so cute. So I already have Jack from The Shining. He was my first one. But there were a bunch more that I wanted. So Travis got me two. He got me Cher from Clueless. She's wearing her epic yellow plaid skirt and top. And then he got me Harry Potter in his robes. So I can't wait to put these down on my shelf. He also picked me up a candle because he knows that I am candle obsessed. And this is from Bath and Body Works. It is the Black Cherry Merlot, which is one of my favorites. He actually likes it too. I feel like it's a good, just all over home scent for men and women. It has dark cherry, black raspberry, and sumptuous Merlot. I also feel like it can be burned any time of year, like literally any time of year. The next item was a home decor item, and this is this really, really cute globe from World Market. It has a nice silver base and a black globe with silver on the maps. And I have this really cute like maps book on one of our little shelves, and I thought that putting a globe on top of the maps coffee table book would just look really great and yeah I thought this one was adorable so he got it for me. These next two items came as a set and it was so so sweet and precious because he picked them out totally on his own and it is a Kate Spade like meal lunch duo so this is just a really cute black tumbler with gold polka dots. I drink out of these well I take this to work all the time just to have water you know I only put water in here I don't like to get like juice or anything yucky in here so I stick with water but it's really cute and then this is a freaking Kate Spade lunch pail and it says right on there out to lunch and he asks me every single day what did you bring for lunch what did you bring for lunch he's like very concerned all the time I don't know why because I definitely eat plenty but he's always very concerned so he thought well why don't I get her a Kate Spade lunch box then she'll be more inclined to like take her lunch I don't, I'm not entirely sure why he thinks that I don't eat I do but sometimes I just don't like to bring things for lunch so he got me this and it's so cute and I can't wait to use it even though I don't feel like going back to work you know there's the silver lining and my last gifts are definitely because I am a fangirl YouTube stalker girl but that's okay first he got me all three of these Zoe Zoella's um, books so girl online girl online on tour and then girl online going solo. So if you know who Zoe is here on YouTube, she goes by like Zoella is her channel name. She wrote these books and I think they're just so cute. The covers are cute and I do wanna start reading more books this year as I kind of mentioned before. And um, yeah, I just wanna support her and I've heard that they're good. So I can't wait to read these. My other YouTube fangirl gift is this, which is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This came out actually a little while ago and for what a fan I am of Jaclyn Hill, I'm surprised that I didn't cave and buy it a while ago, but I was just holding out and this was one of the gifts that I thought to myself, like if nobody gets me that for Christmas, the next time that I like feel the need to treat myself to makeup, I will buy this because I really did want to have it. And they brought it to Ulta, which was really nice. And so it looks like this. I'm sure most all of you have seen it. There is no mirror in it, but there's a huge array of gorgeous colors and they've updated the packaging. So all the color names are on the back and I'm just so excited to use this and play with it. And yes, I was so very excited to open all this stuff. Again, I repeat, I'm not trying to brag. This was just for fun. I hope that you all had an awesome Christmas and let me know if you liked this style video because again, I love watching these. I think it's so much fun and I would love to continue to do this. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you're having a great final few days of 2017 and I'll probably see you in 2018 because I don't know how quickly my editing will turn around, but I have a few videos coming out soon. I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.